This is the family of Alassan Sidi, whose four children and five relatives are languishing currently at the mercy of their abductors who stormed their residence on Sunday. Sidi himself was kidnapped alongside 21 other persons. He was released to go and raise 20 million as ransom for his children and other relatives. 21 people that they kidnapped, they pushed us to Bush. I tell you, they say 20 million. I calculate in there, everybody they calculate in on. Within the same Bwari area council is Isha Kubawa, who was kidnapped for the, from his house in September 2023, but was finally released in January 2024. Ishaku was released after paying a whopping sum of 30 million as ransom. In my house is 10, 11 people. 11 people. The other side is 10 people. It's 20, 20, 21 people. Elisha Sunday is another victim who was held for 15 days after being kidnapped in the Sembuari Area Council. They start finding a cane. So they will start beating me, beating me, hitting me in my face and they blow my nose. That was the first day. After they start beating me, they have tired it. All my body was swallowed up and they leave me. They now release my leg. They went me and keep me. So I was bleeding. They said I should stand up. I lied and said I cannot stand up. I am bleeding. So when I lie down, I pray to my God. I said, God, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. And now sleep now pick me. After I woke up, I said, I want to drink water. They said, Can they cannot give me water. If they give me water, I would die. I said, I want to. The untold story is that several unreported cases of kidnapping have occurred within the same period with children, women held in captivity, hoping for a rescue, but uncertain of their faith. The rising cases of kidnapping in the federal capital territory, especially in Buari Area Council, has given rise to sorrowful tales among families of victims. It's becoming so sorrowful to the point that even those sent to give ransom are also kidnapped. The story is not better any day, as today, about 15 persons were also kidnapped from one of the communities in Bwari Area Council. Just on January 9, 2024, a young 400 level university student neighbor, Al Kadiria, was abducted by bandits. She was subsequently killed. Same fate befell 13 year old Falorin Shoario, who was kidnapped with some members of her family and later killed with their bodies reportedly dumped somewhere along Bwari Jiri Road. The people of Bwari, and indeed the residents of the Federal Capital Territory, at the moment living in fears. Faz Akudi, AIT News, Abuja.